Hey everybody, this is Spoonfed. Um, I'm going to show you how to create a bootable USB from any ISO. Uh, last time I showed you how to burn a CD or DVD from an ISO. Now I'm going to show you how to um, make up a, a USB, bootable USB with that same ISO. Uh, you're going to fire up your browser. I believe it's called Pendrive Linux. Which is a free here it's the USB universal installer. And this thing right here will get you your bootable USB. So type in pendrive linux or go to pendrivelinux.com slash uh, universal usb installer easiest one two three with the, just this whole thing right here um, go to that if you want or do the way that i just did and download this th thing right here save it it's gonna take a few seconds and we're gonna open it I'm gonna say I agree and then this is it this is immediately the tool so you're gonna select a distribution well I have uh, Linux Mint so here is Linux Mint and I have 11 and I have the CD uh, it didn't find the, uh, the, the the ISO in one go it's not not to worry just do this one it says okay and then here, that's not my USB, so I'm not gonna do that right now. But you're gonna select the drive that's your USB here. If you're not sure which drive is which, click Start, click on My Computer, and then right here in this area, uh, especially here, the device with removable storage will probably be it, or on the hard disk drive, it, it sort of switches from time to time you're gonna find the one that you want and then you know the letter behind it so you have C, A and D here uh, usually uh, if you have an extra st external source it will be E or F or whatever name you gave it uh, select that one here and hit create and then you will have your bootable USB and you can do that with any ISO and with this program it's even better because uh, let's say we want to do uh, Fedora, which is also something I'm going to do, um, which is this one, and you're going to say download the ISO, and then you say um, launch Fedora download link, and now I'm going to say no, but if you say yes, it will automatically uh, launch the, uh, the download link, and then you download it first, and then it will show up here. So. Um, that's it for me for now um, uh, all, that's all you need to know uh, I've made two videos now showing you what to, what you can do with ISOs and I'm gonna give you an, an alternative version um, to burning an ISO because there is another way which is maybe takes a little bit more steps but it will include a program that you're going to use a lot more. So, yeah, this is it for me for spoon uh, for spoonfed, and I'll see you next time around.